And so supplementing with creatine, giving those brain neurons the, the actual energy source they need has a great benefit to the brain. Your protein, what is it? What's in your protein powder? Is it it's whey? It's grass-fed or? whey isolate, it's and then I have creatine cool. infused. So it's kind of a unique Smart. product. Yeah. There just... is so much research on creatine and how yeah. like good it is. I feel like it has such a bad reputation. Like as a girl, I'd be like, I would... creatine's like what the, the... Mm. here I am again. But that's what the yeah. football team took when I was in high school, yeah, right? Yeah, for like, sure. Yeah. And yeah, some nasty side effects if you take too much of it or whatever. But I think like, I think a, a practical creatine dose is probably something a lot of listeners should be thinking about incorporating as an easy way to kind of boost. Yeah. I mean, it's super interesting to see the emerging research is on brain neurons and the protective aspect that creatine has. So really simply, um, creatine is the pure energy inside the cell that produces ATP. So when you're going for a sprint effort of zero to seven seconds, you are you are burning creatine. It's a ATP creatine phosphate pathway. And so it's an energizing element of the cell. And it's difficult to get enough in the diet. If you eat two pounds of meat every day, like Dr. Sean Baker, you probably don't need to supplement with creatine. Everyone else could take a really hard look at it because of the uh, pr protective effect it has on the brain neurons, because the brain neurons are very sensitive to getting enough energy. And who is it? Dr. Suzanne Delamonte, Brown University. She coined uh, a nickname for Alzheimer's, which is the literal truth, type three diabetes. Yeah. Because yeah, Alzheimer's sure. and related dementia conditions are characterized by dysfunctional glucose metabolism in the brain, which is diabetes in other cells. And so when your brain neurons don't get the energy they need, you got big trouble headed headed uh, you headed your way, and so supplementing with creatine, giving those brain neurons the the actual energy source they need, has a great benefit to the brain. And then we've known for decades the most studied supplement ever uh, because it in, improves muscle strength, muscle power, muscle recovery, and it brings nutrients into the cell, including water. So you reference like people freaked out about creatine, people who are abusing it or taking like a super supplemental dose, they'll get waterlogged and bloated because their muscle cells are so volumized with extra water. And of course you can overdo it on anything and including that, but like that's talking about taking 25 grams a day oh, instead of five, yeah, yeah. the recommended <clears throat> dose. And so uh, Cynthia Thurlow, she's got a really good female following for her podcasts and her books. She's she's selling her own creatine because she's so strong on the research for even for uh, the, the the slender female who wants to go do Pilates and, you know, recover from it the next day. So it's it's I think it's going to be here to stay. And that's a nice, uh, another category to answer your question. Like the organ supplements are pretty difficult to second guess or dispute. And I'm not super great at cooking up a heart every night for yeah. dinner or a kidney on the side. Um, I'm trying to get my liver into my smoothie too. So I have the, the raw grass-fed liver and then a ton of organ capsules, including my own product called MoFo and then the protein, the creatine. And then the, the mixed bag of tricks, if we did hidden camera in my office, I got a ton of crap in there now. And we'll see how, we'll see a year later if I'm still taking it, you know? Yeah.